Each day we're seeing new examples of how far COVID is once again spreading through our communities. We showed you at 530 how Warren had to shut down its city hall and now COVID has led to the shutting down of a local fire station. Sean Lay is in Troy with that part of the story. Sean, good evening. Good evening to you, Kimberly. Let's put that in perspective for everyone. Troy City Hall's behind me. It's been shut down since March. Now today we're talking about fire station number two here in Troy that has had several members, six, test positive for COVID-19. So that station is shut down tonight. It will not interrupt service. According to the city, it is an on-call fire department. So everything's been covered as far as emergencies here in Troy. But going forward, whether you live in Troy or not, this is another wake-up call that if your place of business, where you work, where your kids go to school, or your municipalities have learned the lessons from April and March. Across the city, we're seeing increased numbers at the hospitals. We're seeing increased uh, admissions to hospitals. We're seeing an increased testing rate. Dr. Rob Dunn is the medical director of the Medical Control Authority for the city of Detroit, but consider him as a COVID detective. He is following the clues to a very real spike in cases in Metro Detroit now impacting workplaces. Local 4 has learned the city of Troy has shut down fire station number two after several firefighters have tested positive for the virus. Virus. The city says it is unknown where the firefighters contracted the virus, but they can confirm that the positive firefighters have been on runs together. The big picture here, expect your area to see the same thing. I think that what you're what you're seeing is is the fact that the numbers are up in the community and that's affecting everybody in every workplace. Dr. Dunn says Detroit learned a ton after being hit hard by COVID in March and April. That not only hurt our community, but hurt the police department as well. Those lessons are helping the city refine protocols with an intense focus on workplace safety, making sure essential employees are spaced out and temperature checks are given and masks are being worn. We're seeing a case here and a case there across the entire continuum of our employees um, that really seems to represent uh, the communities where where they're coming from, something in the family, things like that. And that's always a big concern, right, is those numbers go up in the community. That means that, you know, we're going to see that. Interesting stuff there from Dr. Dunn. We'll get back to him in just a second. Let's talk about here in Troy again. One out of five firehouses now shut down for a COVID-19 spike and an uptick there with six of their firefighters now at home quarantined with the virus. The city says it will not impact fire service, emergency services at all. But again, those firefighters were on runs. It's something to keep an eye on as they contact Trace. Dr. Dunn says the lessons uh, he is seeing the city of Detroit and other municipalities learn is that having a reduced staff, people wearing masks, temperature checks and he says keeping away keeping that distance is the key in the workplace right now again a lot to look at going forward we're live in troy tonight sean late local four okay sean